Did you know the Queen of England had a unique relationship with her locksmiths? Quite the tale to tell, wouldn't you agree? Once upon a time, the grand halls of Buckingham Palace buzzed with more than just royal affairs and state matters. Amidst the hustle and bustle, a rather unusual friendship bloomed, one that involved the Queen herself and her trusted locksmiths. Now you might be wondering, what could possibly link the royalty to locksmiths? It's a tale worth delving into. When you imagine the Queen of England, you likely envision her presiding over grand events, meeting with dignitaries, and perhaps even sipping tea in refined elegance. But here's a twist to that tale. It wasn't just the dignitaries and fellow royals who had the honor of sharing tea with the Queen. The locksmiths, those guardians of the palace's security, were also privileged to this royal tradition. Indeed, the Queen wasn't one to simply assign a task and forget about it. No, she took an active interest in the security of her palace, her realm, and the locksmiths were her knights in that aspect. What began as a professional relationship evolved into a unique bond over time. The Queen would regularly make time to have tea with her on-call locksmith, a nod to their importance in the grand scheme of the palace. This wasn't a one-off event, mind you, but a regular occurrence. Those shared moments over tea were not just about thanking the locksmiths for their service, but also about acknowledging their dedication and commitment to the safety of the palace. Picture this. The Queen of England, in all her regal glory, having a warm, light-hearted conversation with her locksmiths over a cup of tea. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? In summary, the relationship between the Queen and her locksmiths was far from ordinary. It was a unique blend of respect, acknowledgement, and mutual admiration, steeped in the royal tradition of tea drinking. It was a testament to the Queen's appreciation for every individual who played a part in ensuring the smooth running of her palace, even those whose roles might seem insignificant to the outside world. So the next time you think of the Queen, remember it's not just the crown and the palace that make a monarch, but also the warmth and respect for those who serve her. A Queen, after all, is not just a ruler, but a leader who values each and every member of her team.